Welcome to the next video on SQLite. In this video, I'm going to talk about the SQLite limit statement and offset. Now, this is a part of standard SQL, so you can use it in other dialects of SQL. Uh, the limit statement limits the number of uh, rows that are returned in a query, and offset lets you offset from the start. Let me demonstrate. I'll, um, I'll fire up a database here. I've already filled it up, so I'll dump the contents. And you'll see that I've got somewhere on the order of 30 entries in here. Okay. Um, let's say, for example, you want to get the top student in the list. right? So you go select star from students, order by mark. You'll notice here this create table name, mark, and gender. So we'll order it by marks um, and we'll make it descending so uh, so that uh, you get the top mark first and we'll just limit it to one. There you go and you get Colleen O'Byrne with a mark of 100 and she's a girl. Now we could do the same thing if we limit it to the top two we'll get Colleen O'Byrne at 100, Lee Chen at 99. And if you look in this list up here, you'll find, whoops, you'll find that they're they're in here somewhere. Okay, um, if you want to find out who was the bottom girl in this select in this list, you'll select star from students, where gender equals girl, order by mark, ascending. So this puts the bottom mark first and you get limit one. And you see that it's Jasmine Fata at a mark of 51. She's also a girl. You could also get, I don't know, the top three boys. Um, so you go select star from students where gender equals boy, order by mark, descending, and limited to three and that's the top three boys Lee Chen, Wolfgang and Ram. Okay um, now suppose you analyze your class so for example you'll select count star whoops star from students where gender equals boy this gives you how many boys are in the class and you see that you have 18 boys right here. You have 18 boys in your class and you want to find the, what the middle group of boys look like. So you don't want the whoops, you don't want the uh, you don't want the top five uh, nor do you want the bottom five. You just want the boys who rank below the top four. So then you just go select star from students where gender equals boy, order by mark, descending, so you get the top ones. Now you only want eight results because uh, you don't want the top four or the, so you don't want the top five or the bottom five. So, but you only want uh, eight results, so limit eight. And you don't want the top four, so you, then you just say offset four and you get these guys starting with uh, Bill Amoria at an 81. Now you could verify your list by simply going forget the offset and just take the top 12 boys and if you compare the list you'll see one hang on I'll, uh, I'll do a mark so you can see you'll see uh, one, two, three, four those are the top four boys and then if you look at the rest of the list, starting with Bullamoria and ending with uh, Roman, you'll see it's the same list as the list down here is the same as the list, the entire list up here. That's why the offset works. Okay. Um, now, suppose uh, now on, on many web pages, oops, on many web pages or other pieces of software, 
you'll see a list of things, but you only put a fixed number. You know, if you go to Google and get search results, you may only get 20 or 50 results per page. And then you have to hit the next page link to get more elements. Well, it's actually quite quite trivial to do that. Let's say you want to build a web page and you only want to have, uh, you know, and you want to put the marks in this list and you only want to put 10 results per page. So you simply go select star from students order by mark depending limit 10 offset 0. Now offset 0 is implied if you don't put it but I'm putting it just so you can see what to do for the next. So here's what you get when you get your first 10 pay uh, students. Okay, the list that starts with Colleen O'Byrne and finishes with Bill Amoria. Now when you hit the next button all you do is you change the offset to 10. And now you'll get a list that starts right after Bill Amoria, which is Bertrand. And in fact, if you, uh, if you go down, you'll see elsewhere that Thierry Bertrand comes after Bill Amoria. Okay, and then if you want to get the 10 after uh, Ragnarsson, you go off at 20. So again, you pick your top students, only 10. So it's like pick 10 students, but you offset the list by 20. Now, if you try offsetting the list by 30, you get nobody, and that's because there's only 30 people in the list. If you do select count from students, you'll see there's only three students in the class. So that's essentially how limit and offset works. It's a really useful tool if you're building any kind of user interface where you have to limit the number, the amount of output, but you have some notion of a get next or get previous where you get the next batch of uh, results or the previous batch of results. And that concludes this video. I hope you found it useful.